Hey, what is up guys? In this video, I will show you how to create your Moomoo account from scratch and also deposit money into it via two different methods, via bank transfer and via WISE. I have previously made a full review on Momo, so feel free to check it out over here and I will also leave the timestamps down below so you can skip ahead if you are here for the funding guide. Just for disclosure, this video is sponsored by Momo and I have an affiliate link down below that you can use to open an account to get free trading for one full year level 2 real-time US market data and 40 sing dollar cashback coupon all for free and if you deposit over 2.7k sing dollar you will also receive up to one free Amazon stock so thank you Momo for sponsoring this video alright so without further ado let's begin with opening your account Yo! Creating an account with Momo is really seamless and it takes less than 10 minutes to complete. And you can begin by clicking my affiliate link down below even with your mobile phone. You will be prompted with this page so just click sign up at the top right corner. You can sign up with your email and password or use SMS to sign up with your phone. In my case, I will do it with my email. Sign up successfully, you can click the X button to close this first. It will show you all the rewards from using my affiliate link then click open account. Welcome on board, click next. Please choose your identity. Since I am from Malaysia or non-Singaporean, I will choose other. It will prompt you to use the Momo app. Just click open the Momo app. And you should land at the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Download the app and open it up. And at this landing page, click log in since you already signed up just now. Key in your email and password, tick the box and tap log in. Risk notice, click confirm. What is your investment experience? I would recommend you to click experience investor because beginners tend to have a lot of limitations here and there. What are your investment preferences? I would just choose stocks and funds. Options and futures are more complex financial products which will require you to go through some quizzes but you can always do it later. Okay, so just choose these two options for now click start investing. Now you're at your home page but you still need to get your account open since we didn't complete it on the browser in the first time. So click open account. Welcome on board, click next. Identity, if you are Singaporean, obviously go for Singapore citizen. But if you are non-Singaporean or non-PR just like me, then go for other. It will show you the list of items you need ready with you. Firstly, passport if you are a non-Singaporean or if you are from Malaysia just like me, you can also use your Malaysian IC, no problem. Employment status, if you are employed, just get ready with your company name and some minor details. If not, no problem also. Proof of address, you need another document that shows your full name and address. For example, you can use your bank e-statement that you can easily download from your bank account or use your telephone bill, utility bill, etc. But if you are from Malaysia like me, good news because you can use your Malaysian IC as well. Okay, just click next. This page requires you to fill in your basic information. Should be pretty self-explanatory. Name, you can follow this convention from Malaysia Airlines. I think they should fit the international standard. Gender, date of birth, you should know that. ID type, it's chosen passport by default since we went for the non-Singaporean option just now. So you can fill in your passport details. But as I've mentioned, you can also use your Malaysian IC if you are a Malaysian just like me. In this case, I will fill in my Malaysian IC number. Expiry date, there's technically no expiry date for IC so you can just simply choose a year. Don't worry, it doesn't really matter. Citizenship and place of birth, that will be Malaysia for me. And lastly, upload passport photo page. For Malaysians, you know the drill, you can upload your Malaysian IC as well. You will have the choice to upload from your phone or take new photo. And to make it simple, just take new photo with your camera. It's pretty easy, so make sure it is clear and readable. Then click next. This page will require you to fill in your address. It should be pretty simple. You can follow how I fill up here for landed property address. Down there, it will ask you to upload a proof of address. You can again use your bank e-statement, telephone or utility bill as long as your full name and residential address is on there. Personally, if you ask me, I prefer bank statement since it's the fastest and easiest to download and get. Then click next. Tax information, you should obviously fill it accurately, but if you have no idea, you can follow how I fill it so you won't face any complications. Are you a US citizen? I will choose no. Is your tax residence consistent? Yes. Under there, you can fill in your tax identifying number. If you are working and paying income tax, you should have one. For Malaysians, that will be your Nombo Chukai Penapatan found on your LHDN tax return. 
But anyway, if you don't know your TIN or you are not working or if you are a student, you can tap on this small exclamation mark and it will ask you no TIN, then click the select reason. Just choose no TIN is required. Again, don't worry, you can always go back and fill it up in the future when you know your TIN number. Last question, do you have more than one tax residence? Just choose no, then click next. Tell us more about you, what is your employment status. If you are employed, you should know what to fill here. So just to give you an additional point of view, I will fill in here from the perspective of a student or someone that has not worked yet. Don't worry too much about it, this will only affect your ability to trade complex products. But if you just want to do stocks and funds, the bare minimum should be sufficient already. How much is your annual income? I will just choose the first option. How much is your total net worth? Also just choose the first option. Source of wealth and salary? I will just choose savings. Overall investment objective? I will just choose growth. The other choices are usually for options, trader and complex products. Are you a member of blah blah blah? Just choose no. Do you or a family member work for Singapore brokerage? No as well. Have you traded at least 6 times over the past 3 years? I will choose yes. Then click next. It will ask you to verify your identity. So just take a selfie, then click next. Now verify your phone number. You can fill in your phone number like so. Then click the send button to receive the 6 digit SMS TAC code. Fill that in, then click submit. Risk disclosure, feel free to read it yourself. Tick the box below, then click next. And then it will ask you to sign your full name. Just retype it, then click submit. Alright, your application is now submitted. You just have to wait for your account to be approved and activated. And you should receive this email within a few hours or in my case, within one business day. Remember to verify your email by clicking this link. It will ask you to log in and enter your email address. You can just retype the same email you used to open your account. Then click send confirmation email. Check your email again for the 6 digit verification code. Fill that up and that should be all. Your account should be ready to be used and funded whenever you feel like it. So now on towards the funding tutorial, I will show you how to fund your Momo account. At your homepage, you can click the deposit button and you should be presented with three different options to fund your Momo account. The first option, instant deposit via DDA, allows you to instantly deposit Sing Dollar if you have an account with the following Singaporean banks such as DBS, POSB, OCBC, UOB, Standard Chartered, Maybank, HSBC, Bank of China, ICBC and Citibank. But if you are just like me and you don't have any of those accounts, then we can look at the second and third option. The second option, bank transfer, can be done via any bank account from any country and they allow you to deposit in Sing Dollar, US Dollar and Hong Kong Dollar. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to fund Sing Dollar via my CMB Singapore bank account which I've shown you guys how to apply for one as a Malaysian all completely done online so feel free to check that video out if you want me to make another video showing you how to find it via say a malaysian bank account instead feel free to comment down below and if there's enough requests i'll make one for you guys the third option here transfer with wise is also a very simple and intuitive option for most countries where you can deposit either sing dollar or us dollar you can open a wise account which can be done in minutes as well so feel free to check out this video where i have shown you step by step how to set up a WISE account and I will also leave a WISE link down below for you to get a discount on your first international transfer. Alright, let's start with the second option, bank transfer. I will show you how I transfer Sing Dollar from my CMB Singapore account into this Momo account. You can obviously do it with another multi currency account if you have one, but if you already have a Sing Dollar bank account, that will make your life so much easier. Remember to save down these beneficiary details because we will use it in just a bit. Now, log in to your CMB Singapore bank account via their website portal. You can do it via a desktop or on your mobile phone. Both work just fine. I personally prefer doing it on my computer. At your homepage, choose local transfer. Then under the list of options, click on via fast slash non fast under the to other bank subcategory. Transfer mode, we will do it via fast since it is fast and free of charge. Transfer to Click on to none favorite, then select DBS POSB since that's the Momo bank account. Alright, then click next. You will be prompted to fill in these details, so let's do it one by one. Transfer from, you can choose your savings account. Amount, obviously any amount you wish to. In this case, I am transferring 1475 Sing Dollar 
beneficiary account this should be a 12 digit number found on the beneficiary details in your momo app beneficiary name just put in momo financial message to recipient i will suggest you to put in your momo id that you can find in the me tab over here and it should be a nine digit number purpose code just choose other remarks fill in the nine digit momo id again and double check everything then click submit confirmation page double check again make sure it is momo financial and your nine digit account id is correct then you can jump onto your CIMB Click Singapore mobile app to approve the transaction. Click approve, then key in your six digit token pin and click confirm. Then you should see this message saying your transaction is successful. Now over on your desktop, you should receive this transfer acknowledgement. Please don't forget to click print to save your receipt for your own personal record. And just before we move on, you can also add Momo into your favorites list by clicking this add to favorite list button. Make sure it's DBS POSB, then click next. All this will be filled by default, but you can always tweak the transfer amount next time. So just proceed to click submit. Same thing, approve this request on your mobile app and you should be able to see Momo Financial in your favorites list now. Okay, so one last step you need to do here. Jump back onto the same Momo page. Remember to click this notify us button to tell Momo Hey, I just given you my money, so please check for me. Currency, that will be Sing dollar for me. Amount, that will be $1,475 for me. Leave a message, it's up to you. I'll just type in from my CMB Singapore bank account number. Then click submit. And that's all you need to do for method 2 bank transfer. You should receive your fund within one business day. Yo! Now on towards the third funding option which is through a WISE account. You can do it using any currency you have since WISE is flexible enough to cater for all of that. And for the purpose of this demo, I will use WISE to transfer my Ringgit Malaysia into my Momo account Sing dollar balance. And before you ask me why I don't want to transfer into my US dollar balance instead which can avoid double conversion, that's true but I didn't do it because WISE will take around $3 more and they said it may take 2 to 5 days longer plus potentially some miscellaneous banking fees which are not quantified here. So yeah, I did explore it but that seems very vague to me so to be safe for both you and I, I will fund my SING dollar balance instead. Alright, click into it and you should have a long list of information here. So again, remember to screenshot and save this down because we will need it in the moment. Now log in to your WISE account, I will do it over on my desktop. And before I begin funding my Momo account, I want to quickly show you how to fund your WISE account with your local currency and that will be Malaysian Ringgit for me. Notice now I have 2,250 Ringgit in my account. I want to add more so that it becomes 4,500 Ringgit. So to do that, click the Add button. It will ask you how much do you want to add. In my case, it will be 2,250 Ringgit paying with Malaysian Ringgit. Then click Continue. I will choose the first option since it's faster. Pay with online banking. Then continue to payment. Choose your bank. That will be CIMB clicks for me. Click Continue to pay. Then the rest should be pretty self-explanatory. Just follow the login instruction and you will be asked to approve the transfer. Then you should have this transfer successful page. Just click continue to transaction and give it a few minutes. You should be able to see your freshly funded money in your WISE account right now. Okay, so let's start sending that money from WISE to Momo. Click the send money button on the top left corner and on this page, remember to select international since we are sending to a SING dollar account. Key in the amount you want to send. For my case, that will be 4,500 in Ringgit Malaysia. Recipient should get this amount and remember to select this currency to be SING dollar. Then click continue. Who are you sending money to? Choose someone else. Email, you can leave it blank. I left it blank as well. Here, remember to click local bank account. You can also, of course, use PayNow if you know how to use it. Full name, put in Momo Financial Singapore PTE.LTD. Bank name, from the drop down menu, choose DBS Bank Limited POSB Bank. Account number, this should be 10 digit number from the transfer instruction. Then click confirm. What's the reason for your transfer? I just chose savings, then submit. Review details of your transfer. The reference section, you can put your 9-digit Momo account ID, space your full name. 
this is not mandatory but better safe than sorry right enter your password to approve this transfer then it will prompt you on your wise mobile app to approve it and then you should see this screen on your desktop now we need to notify momo about this transaction so click this three dot button here to save the receipt for this transaction be it in pdf or png or jpeg picture format then go back to your momo funding page under the Y section, tap the button below that says tell us your payment. Currency, that will be SING dollar. Deposit amount, this will be the same number shown on your Y's receipt. And in this case, that will be SING dollar 1396.28 cents. Upload a transfer receipt, just attach this receipt that you downloaded from your transaction. And once you have done that, then just click submit. And that's it. That is all you need to do in terms of funding with WISE. Alright, so I've shown you how to open your account and fund them via bank transfer and WISE. Give it one or two business days and you should see your SING dollar cash in your Momo account. But before you are able to trade US, Hong Kong or China stocks, you will need to convert your currency to the respective currency. For example, if you want to trade US stocks on NASDAQ or New York Stock Exchange, then you need to convert your SING dollar cash to US dollar cash. It's pretty simple, let me show you how. At this trade tab, scroll this bar so that you can see this currency exchange button with the purple icon. Click into it. Since I want to trade US stocks, select SING dollar on the left hand side and select US dollar on the right hand side. You can selectively convert any amount you want, but for now, I want to convert my entire 2871 SING dollar into US dollar, so I would tap on the full exchange button. You should be able to see the conversion rate and etc. And in case you haven't watched my previous Momo review video, Feel free to check that out because I have covered their fees and whatnot. And just to save your time, they have already baked in about 0.33% of conversion fee into this exchange rate. Not that it matters but just so you know. Okay, you can click submit and it will ask you to confirm. Key in your trading password and that's it. After a few seconds, you should have US dollar cash freshly converted in your account and you can now use this cash to trade in the US stock market. Alright, that's all for this video. Hope you found it helpful. A little thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm will be very appreciated. Thank you for watching and as usual, I will see you in the next one.